Dirwit. And welcome back to the world that was. Today, I'll be taking a quick look at early medieval cuisine by recreating a very simple cabbage pottage. Pottage is, essentially, anything you toss into a pot to cook. So naturally, there's a huge number of variations on the recipe. This one, however, leans heavily onto medieval Irish culinary traditions. In any case, let's now take a look at the world that was. To begin with, we need to deal with our head of cabbage. I'm using a Savoy cabbage because they're in season at the time of recording, and they also were popular overwinter cabbages, so it works well here. Start by washing your head and removing the tough outer leaves before cutting it in half. Medieval kitchens may have used the outer leaves when cooking, but I'm excluding them here, as these ones were very tough and rubbery, which would have drastically increased the cooking time. When that's done, cut the head of the cabbage in half, identify the tough core, and surgically remove it with a knife. Cut the remainder of the head into thin slices. The thinner you cut this, the faster it'll cook. Next, wash your leeks and slice these into rings. Keep every segment roughly the same size so they'll cook at the same rate. You can, of course, use the greens and root bulb of the leeks, as that was probably what was done in the medieval period, but I'm leaving them out here. And finally, you need to peel and chop your onions. I'm using yellow onions, but really any variation will work here. Cut them in half and cut them thinly so they'll cook very evenly. Next, pour some butter or olive oil into a large pot and place it over a medium-high heat until it heats up. Then, when it's hot, go crush a clove of garlic or two into it. Along with your onions, leeks, and cabbage. On top of everything, pour about a liter's worth of water, or a broth or stock of your choice, or as much liquid as you need to bring the water level just over the ingredients. Toss your rosemary sprigs on top of this, give it all a stir as best as you can, and put the pot over a medium heat. Cover it and let it simmer for about 30 to 45 minutes. It should be done when the onions and leeks have become soft and very tender. Serve up in a bowl with a bit of the broth and dig in. The finished dish is light yet filling, but the real star of the show is the broth. You can, of course, sieve out all the cooked vegetables and use the remaining liquid as a soup stock or broth. The cabbage I used, Savoy, doesn't really break down in the cooking process very well, unlike other cabbages, and so it retains a very crisp crunch that contrasts very well with the soft leeks. Pottage, as a dish, was a simple staple for large populations in the medieval period, as it was a very quick and simple thing to make, as seen here, but was very nutritious and filling. The overall recipe was also adapted to suit things that were readily available. For example, if you wanted some meat, you could just boil a few cuts along with your vegetables, if you don't like rosemary, you can try sage, mint, or coriander. And if you wanted to thicken it slightly, you could add some dried oats in with it as well. In any case, I'd like to thank you all for taking a look at the world that was. If you like what you saw, please consider leaving a like on this video, or possibly even subscribing to my channel for some more ancient recipes.